I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard went and completed everything that she could do in the galaxy, including taking down some missions that she got from Novaria, which puts an end to Cerberus, and was able to even do the Paragon-only quest, The Besieged Base. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. We are nearing the end of this game with only a few more episodes left. I sincerely appreciate you clicking on this one. And a huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely, uh, I love hanging out with you guys. It's the highlight of my day. So in this episode, we are going to head to Vermeer and see what we can do there. And I, I think this is going to be... A really really good episode Vermeer a lot of stuff starts to come together and a lot of stuff starts to make sense so let's jump to it and uh, let's see what Commander Corey Shepard's got in store for us we are level 27 I am still a little worried <laughs> I'm still a little worried uh, that we're not going to hit level 30 so I do have some tricks in place that I think we'll do and one of those is uh, kind of heading to Vermeer and seeing where we're at after Vermeer now, we have done every single side quest that we possibly can here in Mass Effect Legendary Edition at this point. Later, we'll have a few more, but they're small. So, we do have another area that we haven't actually been to at all yet, and that's in the Exodus Cluster. Asteroid X-57, which is the originally the DLC for Mass Effect. Uh, and that is the Bring Down the Sky DLC, which is very, very good. Uh, but we're actually going to be doing that after the events of Vermeer. Mostly because uh, the Bring Down the Sky rewards scale by your level. So the higher level you are, the better the rewards are going to be from completing that. And trust me, we're going to want the best we can get. So we're going to go to Vermeer first and kind of complete some of the story that we can there. So let's get to it. We're going to head to the Hawk system. After arriving here, we discover that there's nothing that we can scan. So it's time. We are finally going to head to the planet of Vermeer. I highly, highly recommend saving your game before you head to Vermeer, and I highly recommend completing almost everything that you can do in the Citadel. Anything that requires you to travel back to the Citadel at any point should be done before you go to Vermeer, because after Vermeer, we are in the Citadel, and that's it. We cannot go back to the Citadel at all until the end of the game, and, and by then it's gonna be too late. So this is kind of a point of no return for certain side quests. We are actually going to choose a squad of Erdnot Rex and Tali Zora Naraya for this mission. Let's do it. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Jump look, around. look at this beautiful darn island, man. Or planet, whatever you want to call it. So, funny story, Vermeer is actually inspired by the islands of Palau. Which, uh, if you've ever seen Palau, it is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Let's get moving. So, Rex, unfortunately, isn't in his you pink armor anymore, but we do have Tally and Rex with us. And I thought I would just kind of run around and show, like, just, I love Vermeer. Everything about this planet is so cool. You have the storms happening overhead, the, the tropical feeling. It's one of the few planets that you actually, your squad can get out and breathe the air, uh, which is just kind of a neat little thing. But we do have the Mako, and we are going to jump into that because we are going to murder some Geth. You'll see all of the red that we have now on our, our, uh, our, sensors here i couldn't think of the word sensors that was embarrassing we also have these little crab people anyways i want to point out that we've received word that a salarian reconnaissance team on vermeyer has information about Saren. the message was unclear and the council fears the team is in danger and as soon as we arrive the big thing that we have to do is take out the aa towers the anti-aircraft towers so we need to disable the guns so that the normandy can land that is our goal and then we need to mess uh, uh meet up with the salarian STG, the Salarian Tactics Group. But continuing forward, we're going to find some drones that we can take out super quickly and get some good XP just by being in the Mako. Now, remember, as I've said many, many times, 
the legendary edition has changed the fact that you need to be in the the mako or not be in the mako to receive full xp we get full xp whether we're in the mako or out of the mako which means we stay in the mako and we just destroy everything so many death waiting for us but it's fine rocket troopers who cares Look at, isn't this place just absolutely beautiful? Destroy some drones as we proceed as well. Now, Tally could get out and kind of help us by by AI hacking these, but we don't need that. Anyways, I'm going to melee these guys. I do recommend meleeing the non-hostile creatures. I'm pretty sure it counts towards the trophy that you can get for all three games by, you know, meleeing a, uh, a certain number of enemies. Look at just how beautiful Vermeer is, man. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I was actually just at the beach and I was thinking about how Vermeer was coming up and I was just so excited. So excited. Anyways, as we proceed forward, we're going to have a lot more guests to deal with and a ton of kinetic barriers that they've set up to kind of halt our advance. Unfortunately for them, we're awesome. But sensors are still jammed, which means that there are more in this area. I can't believe how beautiful Vermeer is on the Legendary Edition. Just absolutely exquisite. They've done such a good job. And we'll approach what looks like some bunkers that have been taken over by, of course, the Geth. Don't forget, we can kind of destroy as many as we want while we're on foot. Which is pretty nice for us, man. Pretty nice for us. Shooting inside, you're actually able to destroy some of the Geth that maybe are sitting there waiting for you. But we have to get out of the Mako, 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 and go get the rest that are hidden up here. We'll see a Geth Trooper waiting for us. Go ahead and just throw him out of here. Get out of here. What? <laughs> Anywho. Tally is shooting at somebody over here with her with her shotgun. So if we proceed into this back room here, we're actually going to have a ton of snipers and the stalkers here. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw out a singularity. And we're going to hopefully AI hack that sniper. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and throw this one and overload both of them to get some damage in there and we'll finish them off unfortunately that doesn't seem like it was the last one because sensors are still jammed i think there's still one a lot yeah it was whatever dude anyways let's decrypt some stuff so we got everything that we could get out of there so let's continue back to where we were because we did see another weapons locker that we can open on this side here perfect now Rex is, for some reason, shooting something that's not even there, but we'll head back to the Mako, because that's the only thing we can do at the moment. And we'll proceed forward back on in the Mako, able to destroy whatever's waiting for us, which is a Geth Colossus, which means, hey, baby, give me that XP. You know what I'm saying? What is this? It's not even... Okay, now it's shooting at us. I was like, uh, hello? They have such a slow projectile. Down it goes. Almost 2,000 XP for that. Get out of my face, buddy. But we still have more Geth waiting for us. And we'll start shooting as soon as we get over here. And we can take down some little armatures that seem to be thinking that they can do something and they can't because we are Commander Cory Shepard. We're going to go both ways here so that we can clear out the whole area. Trust me, we're going to want to do that because, as always, XP is what we're after. Each armature being almost a thousand XP when we defeat it. So we're going to head the opposite way back where we just came from. We want to make sure we defeat as much as possible. Especially when you're looking at 2k XP. Proceeding on after destroying those two armatures. Now our sensors seem to be... There we go. I had to just pop into the menu and pop out to get these to show back up. But you'll see that we have a quest marker on where we have to go. 
But first, we're going to pop around this corner. See if we can take down the enemies that we have. Should be some Geth Colossus waiting for us. Which is some juicy, juicy XP. There's one of them! After taking that one down, let's see if we can find where the second one is. Right around the corner. On the way that we were coming, it seems like it hurt us and tried to chase us. Unfortunately for this Geth Colossus, it ain't going to be able to get us. And the other one bites the dust, and we, my friends, are now level 28. So we have another Geth outpost, gatehouse, whatever you want to call it over here. And that, my friends, is where we can actually see one of the guns that we need to take down. Now, if we zoom in here, we can potentially see that this area has some Geth over by it. Although I'm not seeing any right now. Hello? Exactly. Anyways, looks like we're going to have to take down this gatehouse on foot. So, oh, wait a minute. There you are, punks. Killed both of them. We can actually get another shot in here, taking out yet another. And right here as well. Easy peasy. Let's see if we can actually shoot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. XP. Cannon. So strong. All right. Let's get out of here. We have, we have a job to do. We need to turn off this AA gun. Luckily for us, we have the powers of Rex. Tally, and the incredibly strong biotic that is Commander Corey Shepard. Taking down the shock trooper that was waiting for us. That we were able to do a ton of damage to actually because of the Mako cannon. We still have more. Let's go get them in this room. We are going to dodge those. AI hack one of the one of these. There we go. Throw this one. And hope that we can get a singularity in here. It's just these destroyers, it seems. We can hack this one and kill it pretty quickly, knocking it down with the high explosive rounds that we still have for some nice juicy XP. So let's go ahead and disable these gun controls. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. And opening the gate. To the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to go, Shepard. What the easiest place ever. Heading back to the Mako. We got some more work to do as we see that Geth are there. And we'll see the Normandy passing overhead to the Solarian base. But we got to catch up with them. Uh, on foot, on wheels, whatever you want to call it. More Geth at the gatehouse number three. Taking them down from inside the security of the Mako. We only have a couple more. Let's go ahead and once again jump out of the Mako. Proceed to where we got to go. Now, I would also like to point out that snipers are very, very strong in this level as well. So Garrus, yourself, if you're an infiltrator, very, very strong. Looks like we have some items that we can grab here. Not seeing anything else that's kind of hidden on the side, but we do have this crate that we can open for some free gear. You'll love to see it. And proceeding into this room here, we have another destroyer. We're going to go ahead and hack one. Perfect. And toss this one away. Hello? I'd like to toss you, please. Thank you. Look at that. See what I mean? Tally's so strong here with that AI hacking. Anyways, it looks like we have one more room. We have to activate the controls here. Easy. And That's grab it. this weapons locker. Nothing between us and the Solarian camp now. And back to the Mako and to the Solarian camp. Now, lucky, lucky that uh, for the Solarians that we got here when we did, because it seems like they were kind of stuck, wedged in between two different forces. We were able to help them out. Although I'm sure a Solarian STG unit would be able to take down the few Geth that were sitting at this gate. Look at how beautiful, man. Oh, the the lightning in the background. Vermeyer, you rock my socks, dude. Look at that. Whew. Look at this. You see the rain falling? Absolutely incredible. Really good spot for a penultimate world. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. 
Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Ah, I guess we can't leave. Remember when I said this was the point of no return? So we'll keep going down this winding corridor area until we get the to the camp. And the, Sol the Normandy is off to the right as well. You can kind of see it in the background. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, no. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. Um... We are the reinforcements. <laughs> but You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. So Saren's here. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's he doing? What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What? What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. We have to stop Geth this. Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Yeah, that's a little, a little forked Is up to say. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. No, he'll listen to me. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Yeah. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. What do you mean? You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. Okay. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. What does that mean? Don't. What do you mean? Oh, that was loud. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. Yep. That's that. That's Rex shooting into the water. Uh, I think he's a little mad, guys. Well, Garrus, what do you have to say? I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? Yes! What do you mean? Yes, of course we can. He's Rex. He's our buddy. He's our friend. He's our pal. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Agreed, Tally. Now, we have a problem here, my friends, and that's uh, because we do not have decryption, we're not somebody with that skill, and we don't have access to our squad in the camp, there are a few things that we can't decrypt, like this medical station. Can't decrypt it. Um, unfortunately, we chose electronics, which was a waste because of the bug that happened, but we chose electronics. Um, there is, yes, we can't get this medical station, but we can talk to Commander Rentola. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. You can't have much supplies. Just tell me what you have available. We have limited reserves. We requested a fleet to destroy Saren's base. Instead, they sent you. Sorry. Your request never came through. We'll just have to make do. That much is clear. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Duh. What little there is. So, this is all he has, but the big thing that we want to buy here is actually the unique item, the Armali Council License, which uh, we've heard of before. We actually got one of these. 
uh, been when we did a side quest, but for whatever reason, we could still buy it here. So we're going to, because who cares? We don't need the credits. Uh, but that is pretty darn useful. You can also see that we have the maxed out stuff that we can get here, the, uh, the light armor and all that. I don't really recommend the Guardian stuff. I don't think the Guardian line is that good. Um, and neither really is the Banshee or the uh, the Hammer 9, to be honest with you. So that's all we can really get from Commander Rentola. So we need to proceed on and go talk to our boy, Rex, who seems to be having a little bit of a problem. But there's another tent in the back here. And I just want to point this out real quick. Where Liara is standing, we have another communications relay, but our skill is too low. So we won't be able to decrypt this one either. Now, unfortunately, because we can't access this, we will be missing the Salarian uh, government. Um, I believe it's the Salarian government or the Salarian culture codex entry. We'll be missing it from not being able to uh, to use this communications relay. But it's not that big of a deal. Liara. Yeah, but I can fix that. Liara thinking that we should go talk to Rex. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I highly recommend saving your game before talking to Rex, especially... If you don't have a high intimidate this isn't right, or Shana. charm. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. You know, honestly, I can't really blame Rex in this situation at all. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Oh, hey, buddy, I wouldn't do it. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? And we get the trophy, Charismatic. No, we were tools for the council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Nice. Able to fix that problem. No problemo. Now, if you did not go get Rex's family armor, you can charm or intimidate Rex out of that. Uh, and that's the only way you can save his life. If you are not able to do that, and we will see Renegade Shepard trust me we're going to see renegade shepherd's actions in our renegade video uh but for now uh i definitely recommend getting rex's family armor or getting your charm in it or intimidate up high enough to talk him out of we're doing this. what's going on let's go but you know i no one can really blame rex i don't think not in that situation but at the same time it's also like yeah it does sound dangerous if the genophage is fixed this facility is well protected see everyone's you must be very persuasive see everyone's everyone's like wow well, you're awesome. You can you can change the Krogan. And you're like, yeah, I can. I'm surprised that Krogan. Yeah, beautiful. Kira, hey, what Thank do you think? Speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. We're assaulting it? I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. No, I like it. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. You'll all be killed. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Oh, man. You know what? It's a good idea. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. 
Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Captain, who do you need? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. So we have the choice now to send either Ashley or Caden with Captain Kirahe. And we are going to choose... We're going to choose Caden. I think they could use some biotics. I don't think Solarians use biotics, so... I think that's going to help them out a bit. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Yeah, I have a few. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. That's not great. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. All right, but I'm not. I I'm not ready yet. I need a few moments to prepare. Take your time, but we're ready to go as soon as you say. Great, and we get a codex entry. This one for government. So the one that we are missing and military doctrine, the one where we are missing is for culture that we actually get from uh, their, that, that relay over on the other side. It's also worth noting that whoever you choose to go with Captain Kirahe is not going to be able to join you for the rest of Vermeer. All these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. And potentially beyond that. So let's go ahead and talk to Tally, see what she has to say. I will fight with fire for you, Commander. Thank you so much. All right, it's time for us to get out of here. We know everyone is on the same page. We know everyone's ready for battle. Captain Kirahe, hey, ready, Commander. let's go. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. One of the best well, speeches in the whole game. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? Hey, it's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. We're a team, Caden. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, 
We held the line. Our influence will stop staring. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. God, I love you, Captain Kirihe. What an awesome Solarian. And also pretty upset that I can't have any Solarians in my group ever. Pretty upset about it. Anyways, we're going to continue on with our party of Tally Zora and Araya and Erdnot Rex. I definitely recommend bringing Rex with you into this next chapter because we're stopping the only hope of curing the genophage that he knows of. And I'm sure he's going to have some problems with that. So that's who we're going to be taking with us. Although I do recommend taking anything that's going to stop charging Krogan because uh, they said that there's an army of Krogan here. So anything that's going to help you with that. So Erdnot, Erdnot Rex is going to be pretty strong there. Liara is super strong there. Um, Tally Zora, Naraya is not going to be as great, but still, she'll be good. Let's go ahead. We're going to go with the squad. We can't take Caden because we sent him with Captain Kire. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Let's go. It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. And we will. So, this is a scary suicide mission, at least for the Solarians. For us, Shadow Team Shadow, we're going to see as much as we can do ground. to take them out. Right in front of us already, we have to deal with a bunch of Geth. Hopefully be able to take them out before it becomes a problem. We do have snipers that are targeting us. We're going to go ahead and pop our shield boost here. The Geth Trooper taken down. We, can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. we need to charge up. Watch out for these snipers. See if we can get up here without too much of an issue. Don't forget, we do have AI hacking, so that is something that we can do. We're going to use Carnage here from Rex. See if that will help. We have a Geth Destroyer coming in. We're going to AI hack that one real quick. He'll turn on his friends. Hopefully finish them off. This Geth Sniper, we're going to take on our own. As you can see, the power of Kali is just not to be trifled with in this spot. Taking this guy up, we're going to go ahead and lift him into the sky. Making him inconsequential. And then we are going to throw him as far as we can. Get out of here, punk. Fly into the sky, my boy. And he's dead. <laughs> Heading up here, there's some more things that we can do. We can disrupt the Geth communications. That's going to help our team and also give us some Paragon points. And we can decrypt this weapons locker. Looks like we did everything we can here. So we have to proceed on foot to the back area. Back down. We've disrupted their communications. Now, you could have skipped that and just kept running through here, but... Why would we want to do that? We want to help Caden and the rest of the team as much as possible. Yeah, let's go, Got music. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of Eye. That was us. We scrambled their target. Taking down anything that we can, anything that moves. More enemies all throughout here. We want to take down all that we possibly can. We want that XP. Go ahead and pop barrier here. They're calling sat strikes. Teodo, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Looks like we have another comm station over here that needs to get taken out. And yet another assault drone. We'll go ahead and overload that. Taking it down 335 experience. Rex and them still shooting. As we proceed to another little outpost that hopefully we can help out our friends here. Shock Troopers trying to take us down. Satellite uplink. Let's hope that we can remove this to help our friends. And we destroyed it. Satellite uplink has been destroyed. So for some extra Paragon points. A Krogan in the back attacking us. This is a Krogan warrior. Go ahead and see what we can do by finishing off this guy here. And the Krogan in the back, waiting for us. Hopefully he's gonna charge, perfect, and we'll lock him into stasis. A big over, uh, big warp from Rex here. And down goes the Krogan, with a nice auto save in there for us. 
And we can open this aid station. Now, we could continue back here, but there were more enemies that we need to destroy. We already destroyed that satellite uplink, so we're going to come over back this way real quick. The opposite direction that we came. Because there are more enemies, and we need as much XP as possible. Now that those two are down, we can head back to where we destroyed the satellite uplink. This is where we destroyed the uplink, and we'll just proceed to the back here. But I just saw an enemy. I did see an enemy hidden in the back here. Make sure that's some XP that we can get. Rocket drone trying to sneakily hide in the back. Whew, glad we got that. It's extra XP. Continuing into the back here. Looks like we are stuck on a small little bridge. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. In situations like this, back. we're going to head down. We see that there's a destroyer up here. We're actually going to go ahead and see if we can get an AI hacking on that. Perfect. Send him off to go kill whatever else is up there. As our destroyer takes down a bunch of people, we can go ahead. He's hacked. Take him down ourselves here. Three hundred and thirty-five XP, but there's more pathways that we need to follow. Remember, this is super, super worth doing. We have a bunch of enemies here. We're actually going to destroy this fuel tank here, doing a ton of damage to all of the drones that were there. Go ahead and cast barrier on ourselves as well. Watch out for those rockets. And the Geth Flyers have been destroyed. And we took down the refueling station for eight additional Paragon points. That's going to help our team yet again not get hit by Geth Flyers. And we can head down the water here since we went the other way. Let's see that there are even more that we can take down. It all leads to the same place. It's basically a big circle, but we do want, like I said, as much XP as possible. So we want to head and destroy as many things as possibly can. There's a Krogan warrior sitting up there. We're going to go ahead and see if we can Singularity him. Unfortunately, that didn't work. Let's see if we can get a lift up. That also somehow missing. And we'll see if we can get a throw then. Fork it. Falling off the edge there. We're going to run around, see if we can get that Krogan by himself. AI hacking not going to help us too much against Big Bad Krogan. See if we can come in. He's on this side here. We'll get a warp from Rex. Krogan seems to go down. I don't really know what that Krogan was doing. We have another one sitting up here. We'll go ahead and take this guy down. Putting him into a stasis. And a big old warp from ourselves. And why not give a, whoops, carnage and damping. Pop marksman. Easy peasy. And we can open this crate for a prodigy 10. Woo! That's nice stuff. And it looks like there's also another way up here that we can go to find another upgrade kit. And also right here is a wonderful spot to actually snipe some of the enemies that you might find over here. Especially if you have a sniper rifle. Now, we're not seeing anything over there, but we're going to head back down. And we only have one path we can go now, which is to assault the direct base. See some snipers that are sitting there waiting to attack. And the Krogan. See if we can get them to come out here a little bit. Air threat is not materialized. Tira pointing out that we took down the flyers. Air support not coming in for the Geth here, but we do have a few Krogan. Like I said, remember, this is going to be a pretty Krogan heavy area. We want to watch out for that sniper. We're able to knock him down. Only 134 experience for those, which is a little too bad, but we're going to come in this side here. See what we can do. We're going to overload this here. And we're going to stasis this Krogan. 
Pop Marksman, hopefully finish it off. And the other Krogan that's over here is going to get a big old warp and a throw and a carnage. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I want to point out that Captain Kirahe's fate is entirely dependent on if you take down those Geth Flyers or not. If you do not destroy those Geth Flyers, unfortunately, he doesn't survive the assault on Saren's base here. Coming to the way back, we can grab a crate. And we also see a wall safe out in the distance by where we gotta go. And we can decrypt this storage locker. Hold the line, man. Hold the line. Perfect. 2100 experience for that. Amazing. Go ahead and open this door. We're still outside, still haven't headed inside. But this is where we are going to uh, hopefully make up some of our XP deficit that we seem to have. As, as we approach, we'll notice that there's a bunch of doors and security consoles out here. So we can see that there are a ton of enemies inside, but as we approach the security base... We've got access to base security. Control. We can put the alarms from here. Maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Yeah, you know what? They've got enough trouble. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. And we get... Eight Paragon points for doing that. Now, we're actually going to go back here real quick. And if we head all the way down to the left here. We can go down this path that's kind of hidden. Sort of. And we can actually go underneath. And not have to worry about those alarms or anything. And in fact, we actually get more XP from doing this. A really cool thing about this door is that if you are struggling with getting enough XP, you can actually exploit this door by decrypting it, saving your game, loading it again, and you'll actually be able to redo this door over and over and over and over and over. But we'll go ahead and open the door and continue through the underground area, which I do highly recommend doing. This is going to be the best source of XP and loot, actually, that you can get is from, is from doing this and going this way. So that's what we're doing. Of course, we did do the alarm as well to kind of help out our friends. So you can see that as we approach this next door, we already have some indoctrinated Solarians attacking us, it would seem. Go ahead and open this for some more gear. Indoctrinated. So they must have been turned by Saren? Very interesting. Approach up here, we'll find another door in a Geth terminal that we can't use. Opening this door, looks like we'll have two enemies, although I'm not seeing them in front of us. They must be upstairs. But back here, we can grab some crates. A little hidden, and then we can head upstairs to take down the rest of these indoctrinated scientists here. These poor guys. Something must have happened. Go ahead and head out here. And up these stairs. Where we can find... Cells. Full of more Solarians. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Oh no. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What happened to you? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. Uh, you know what? I can't just leave him, though. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. 
It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know. I need to get out. Let me out. All right, let's uh, let's Seven let him out. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? So damn simple! And unfortunately, he's going to succumb to the whispering and he's going to attack us. We're going to go ahead and drop him into a singularity and go ahead and take down the other Solarian, Solarian uh, guys that unfortunately succumb to the indoctrination as well. But hey, XP is XP. Unfortunately, we couldn't do anything to save them. So we need to head down here to yet again more enemies. Perfect. Taking down these poor Solarians. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Decrypting these crates on the side here. We get some more items that we are going to need to turn into Omni Gel at some point. And it looks like there are still some more things. These terminals have been destroyed. Doesn't look like we can grab everything, but there is a, uh, an elevator we can summon. We want to avoid using the elevator for now because it's actually going to go to the next section of this. And we don't want to do that. We want to defeat as much as we can here. Let's go ahead and use this door here. Proceed through this catwalk. Hello? Is someone out there? Another Solarian commando apparently recognizing us. Go ahead and use this door. We have more enemies already approaching. You can see on our sensors. Let's go ahead and open this door. Taking down as many as we can, overloading this canister there. Another Geth Juggernaut. This time we're going to go ahead and hack it so it can go ahead and destroy its compatriots. Taking down the destroyer as well. Looks like we have some more enemies and down Solarian. Another Solarian goes down and another Geth Destroyer. We're going to go ahead and toss this one away from us as it charges in. Watch for the indoctrinated Solarians that are also coming in. And look at the free XP that we're getting. We have yet another Geth Destroyer. Damping and warping. And throwing. So we can finish it off for another 300 experience. Exploring this room doesn't seem like there's anything else in here except for an aid station, which we can grab, even though we don't really need it because we're full on medis. We'll proceed into the garage area here. Looks like we were able to defeat everything that's in this garage area. Some plasma containment cells left. Go ahead and open these doors. Which lead out to where we were earlier. So you can see how much XP we were able to get just by coming in and, and doing all of that. And then we can head back to where we came. This time we're going to go ahead and take the door that's immediately to our right. And leads outside. Where we can head down here to where we heard that Solarian yet again. So it looks like we can go ahead and talk to this guy. Investigate the cell. When you're not a Geth. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment captured during Rico. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? Unfortunately, no. The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envy them. Hmm. Tell me about the research. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. Unfortunately, I can't trust you. If I let you out, how do I know you won't just attack me? It's obvious that I'm not crazed or drooling like the others. Let me out and I'll stay out of your way. Too risky. Sorry, I can't take that chance. I'm not opening your cell. No, 
don't leave me here. Please. And we get nine renegade points, but we'll go ahead. Please don't leave me here. I don't want to end up like the others. I saw what those experiments did to them. We can actually say that we trust him. yourself, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. And we'll get the Paragon points for letting him go. We are able to double dip a little bit there. And we also have another cell here that we can open this time with the four Solarians inside. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this. All right, let's go ahead and let them out. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure, Shepard? At best, they might hurt themselves. If there is any sense left in them, they might be directed to harm us. They're no threat. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Very well. At least the blast will eventually end. These poor, because mindless enemies. Now, you could choose to slaughter them, but I don't believe they actually give any XP, so we'll just let them kind of decide what they want to do. Fortunately, this guy, we don't have an option to let out. He's just stuck in there, so let's head out. Back up in the security office that's up here, the elevator is the only way that we can go, the only thing that's left, but my friends, we are not going to use that elevator just yet. No, 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 my friends. We will tackle the rest of Vormiter in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another Mass Effect Legendary Edition video. Uh, I'm very excited that we are cruising through this game. We are level 28. Uh, hopefully, we'll be level 29 before we leave Vermeer. That's my hope, but we'll see. Uh, I, Yeah, a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys, and I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Remember, never give up, never surrender to... The indoctrination. Nailed it. Bye, everyone.